Now then, my friends, as you know, this channel, it's a bit of a mix of different things, isn't it? Because we've got, let me take this helmet off, we've got travel, food and tech. Now, for the travel people, keep an eye out because I'm going to be going back abroad and getting on a plane imminently. So keep an eye out for that one. For the food people, well, I'm going to include a little bit of food in this video today as well to keep you happy. And tech, well, I've got a little bit of a tech review because I'm reviewing this bike, which is the DYU 750 King. Uh, and it is a beast, my friends. And we are in the English Lake District and it is a beautiful place. And it is raining a little bit, but of course, it wouldn't be the English Lake District without any rain, would it? I should know that growing up here. So we're going to review this bike, have a little bit of food. So stay tuned, give it the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, my friends, before we go and get something to eat, uh, let's check out, check out, check, ne forget that, don't worry about it, bad joke. Uh, we're gonna go through some of the tech specs. Now, please do remember, uh, this is a private facility that I'm on here, which I have uh, authorization to ride on. Please do check your local laws in the country that you're in. And please remember, this video is not just for the UK market. So uh, all the uh, people out there watching in the UK, please remember this is a global market. So check your local laws. Uh, and also remember, this is an off-road bike as well. So it's, I'd say it's, specifically an off-road bike, uh, but obviously you can ride it on-road in where countries permit. So we shall go through the specifications now because it's going to rain very shortly. Uh, it's got a 750 watt motor with 75 newton meters of torque, making climbing easier. Uh, it's got a 48 volt, 20 amp hours LG brand battery. Now that is something to shout about because LG branded batteries are very well respected in the industry. Uh, it's got dual hydraulic brakes for guaranteed safe riding, a maximum range of 80 miles, uh, 26 inch fat tires to handle off-road with ease. It's an, as I say, it's an ideal off-road mountain bike. It's got a top speed of 28 miles per hour, multiple shock absorption. Uh, it's got an ergonomic seat cushion with built-in suspension in the seat. And it's really, really comfortable when you're off-road on all the rocks up in, the, in places like the Lake District. Uh, it's got a bright LCD that shows speed, mileage, output, power and status indicators, my friends. A half twist throttle to prevent accidental touch and cause injury, um, which is more considerate. Dual hydraulic, hydraulic disc brakes, uh, anti-theft system and uh, charging time is six to seven hours, my friends. So I'm going to head off now over and get um, a bite to eat while I'm uh, riding there. Just take a closer look, my friends.
Right, so we're at Lakeland Motor Museum. Uh, we're going to head on in there to Cafe Ambio, get something to eat uh, before we take that bad boy out on the road. Hopefully it's going to stop raining in the next 40 minutes, so it says on Apple Maps. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be the Lake District, would it? I mean, really, I said it earlier on, it wouldn't be the Lake District if it wasn't raining. Otherwise, where, all, where would all the lakes come from? Let's get in there and get some food, come on. Right, okay, so uh, there is a great motor museum, by the way, um, over the road from here, yeah. which I'll put a link up here and at the end, by the way, uh, and it's fantastic. You can have a look around, there's some old cars in there, Ford Capri, uh, and you've got a great scone as well that you can get here with jam and uh, cream as well, which I had. So take a look at that when you get time. Uh, my bike's safely out there, I can see it. It isn't locked up. That's the great thing about the Lake District, you can wander around and it's fairly fairly safe it's not like in the city so and i can literally see my bike there so i know it's safe i'm going to go for i think today i think i'm going to go for the burger the ambio double cheeseburger uh, which is cheddar smoked bacon pickles house burger sauce brioche roll uh, and triple cup chips 14 pounds 50 uh, and i think i'll have uh, I don't, i'm not sure what drink i'll have yet but we'll find out anyway see you guys in a minute Right, my friends, well, um, it seems to have baited the rain uh, and it says it says there's a 90% chance of it raining again uh, within the next hour. So uh, we better eat this, then get back out on my bike, which is out there. Uh, it doesn't look to have got too wet, by the way. So I've gone for the uh, double cheeseburger uh, with chips, like triple cut chips, is it? Uh, and also I've gone for a San Pellegrino, San Pellegrino, uh, orange there, which came to a total of 17 pounds and 70 pence. Um, so you know what I'm gonna say before we go any further. Take a closer look, my friends. Right, so first things first, ouch, this is really hot. I'm gonna tip these uh, chips out onto the plate and pop them on the plate, there we go. Okay, move that out of the way. Okay, right, let's uh, have a look what's on this burger. I think we're gonna cut it in half, but if we open it up first, uh, we've got um, the cheese on there, got two burgers, two patties, uh, and then underneath there as well, uh, if you can see that, Got some gherkins there and some salad, a um, little bit of bacon. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half actually. Makes it easier to eat as well. Got a brioche bun. There we go. Cut that in half and I'll show you down the middle. And then we can get out there and test this bike. I think I've made a bit of a mess of that. Here we go. There we go. That's better. I'll use this bit. Check that out. Layered and laced. There we go. Wow. 
that. That's nice. It's got a sauce on it that reminds me of Wimpy back in the day. Got the brioche bun. Got the chips there, look at that. There we go. Mmm. Very hot. Right. I'm gonna get some sarsons on here. Get the vinegar on there. Okay. Get some salt on there. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You've seen me do it before. You probably some people are gonna think this is wrong. I'm gonna get my ketchup, pop the ketchup on there, and then get mayo. Pop the mayo on the side there as well. Get the mayo on there. And then I'm gonna mix it together like a Bernie Steakhouse sauce. And uh <laughs> and dip my chips in, there we go. Takes me back to the 70s and 80s. I'll see you guys in a minute. It's baited. Somebody admiring my bike there as well. Look at that. Mm. See you guys in a bit. I'm having to resort to eating my hamburger now with the uh, knife and fork, sacrilege. Sometimes it's got to be done though. Still tastes the same. I'll see you outside. Right, okay, so before we take it out for a spin uh, and get the 360 camera on and uh, just go through this bike and see how it rides, uh, the burger, um, I actually really enjoyed it. It was very nice. Um, I know some of you are gonna say it's a tad expensive, but we are in the Lake District. That is a fantastic place to visit. I wasn't overly fussed on the breakfast from memory um, because it was, I think I like the beans actually at the place, but the place itself is fantastic and there's scones are untouchable with their clotted cream so there we go if i was to mark it out of 10 um the chips and the burger i'd go for a i'd go for a burger for a, i'd give it a seven i'd say something like that which is not bad um the place itself is fantastic you have to visit the motor museum especially if you're into cars etc and also bikes because there's motorbikes in there there's bicycles in there old rally bicycles and all sorts so which is apt really as we're doing a bike review today on this uh, DYU King. So let's get the 360 camera on, go through it. It's still raining, can you believe it or not? It's the Lake District. I mean, we've just got to go with it. So come on, onwards. Right, my friends. So this has got three power assisted modes on here. We're on uh, number three at the moment. Uh, it's also got a seven speed Shimano gears on here as well. Um, just going to turn around here okay the brakes are superb on this beast uh, the tires are so thick off-road it is absolutely fantastic um, and the brakes stop you on a dime i've got to say the suspension in the seat at first i was a little bit dubious about i thought hmm, why don't you just put suspension on the back wheels but the seat actually really works it's fantastic um, it really takes out all the bumps it's really really good um, you've got a little bell on it as well uh, that you can ring uh, just to warn people rather than like a horn or anything which is a little bit more respectful. Sometimes you get them electronic horns on the uh, on the bikes and they can be a little bit, uh, well they can make people jump can't they to say the least. It's raining again, can you believe it? Well I can believe it. it's the Lake District. Um, as I say you can get this up to about 26 miles an hour. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, I've no need. You can do it. If you want to try it off road in the uh, in the hills safely, then uh, carry on and do that. That's great. Um, it's absolutely spot on. You've got a trip monitor on here as well. So easy to pedal. Really, really easy to pedal. And it's a comfortable bike. It's just all round fun, really. So uh, I'm going to back off here 
uh, because as I say I'm staying on the private roads here so uh, I'm going to get get back over the bridge and just take it a spin over there that seat though is weird though it's, it's weird feeling because it's just odd it's just so comfortable it's like sitting on on a cushion or something it's probably the most comfortable bike seat I've ever sat on it really is absolutely bang on uh, it's a great bike let's get up here it, and because of the power that it's got it just handles everything in its stride You can also alter the uh, front suspension to make it harder or softer as well. Um, I think I've got mine on medium there uh, and it's absolutely perfect. These hydraulic brakes, um, as I say, stop you on a dime, they're great. Anyway, let's round this thing up because it really is uh, starting to <laughs> rain now. So uh, we'll round it up and I'll tell you what I think of the bike uh, and um, finish it there. Gotta love the Lake District. Wow, <laughs> no wonder it's so green and got so many lakes. Oh dear. Right, park the bike up there. Okay, so I'm going to make this swift because that is uh, waterproof. The IP rating is on the website. Um, I'm going to wrap this up now. Would I recommend this bike? Yes, absolutely, 100%. It's a great bike. It's very powerful for off-road use. Uh, check your local laws, as I've said. Uh, and and uh, the battery, what I like about this is the battery because it's got that LG battery in there, which is a great branded battery. So you know uh, you can be sure of the battery in that as well. I'll put the details for this, the DYU King 750, in the description down below. Uh, it's a fantastic little bike. Well, I wouldn't say little bike. It's a fantastic big bike. What I do like about it, and I was dubious, is that seat. It's so, so comfortable. Um, it really is. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the review. Hope you enjoyed the burger. A little bit of an amalgamation of both food uh, and tech as well. And uh, as I say, keep an eye out because imminently I'll be getting back on a plane. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's got to be better weather than this. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload no little Do you know what I mean? I'm out of here. I've got to get out. It's going to start tipping it down. Right. Bye-bye.